Wow. All right, man. So, look, I got another one for you. All, all right. right. This one, start, bench, cut, man. Start, bench, cut. Yeah. Okay. And tr- and trade, actually. We got trade in this start, one bench, as well. Start, bench, cut, trade. Got it. So, look. All right. We got Jason Tatum, okay. Tyrese Halliburton, okay. Luka Doncic, and Anthony Edwards, all the guys oh, that lead man. their team that are left in these Western and Eastern Oof. Conference Finals. So what do you think, Travis? Oh. Who are you starting? Who are you benching? Who are you trading? And who are you cutting? All right, let's talk this out. We'll go order of operations first. Let's do the easiest first. Okay. Let's get Hallie's ass out of there. So I'm <laughs> cutting Tyrese Halliburton. Nothing against the kid, but he's still developing. I think there's been moments uh, during the Pacers playoff run where he does step up to the plate on the big stage, but there's also been moments where I've seen him shrink. Yep. So he's just not there yet. So I'm going to cut him off rip. I can see that. All right, so cut is done. What were the other start, bench, or trade? Start, bench, right? or trade, yep. Okay. Boy, Tatum's just on a different level right now. I know I'm going to play him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luca. I mean, just putting Rudy Gobert in a blender was amazing yep. to watch. He's playing on another level. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna trade Ant. Okay. And you know I'm an Ant fan. Yeah. I, I love Anthony Edwards, but he is young. He's looked young at times, mm-hmm. much like Tyrese Halliburton, but not quite as as bad. Yeah. Ant has has stepped up to the moments, but he's also disappeared in moments. I mm-hmm. think he's tired as hell chasing around Kyrie. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to trade him. Let's okay. trade Ant. Trade in Ant. I yep. can get a lot of assets because he's young. Yep. So now, so what do I got left? Starter bench, right? Yep, starter bench. Tatum okay, you know or Doncic, man. Who do you like more right I now? I think I'm going to start Tatum. <sighs> My reasoning is I, I just feel as though he can give me a little bit more than Luka on the defensive end. Mm-hmm. Say what you want about Jason Tatum. He plays real defense. I'll start him. And then I'll I'll bench Luca, but I'm bringing him off that bench quick. Yeah, I like that list. Um, you yeah. could obviously start Luca as well, and, yeah. and and bench Tatum. But those are the two guys I want to roll with. Yeah, 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 I get that. I I like that list. Yeah, it was pretty easy for me to get Tyrese out of there. Yeah, uh, as my boys like to say, he has no wiggle, which means he can't get open one on one. And right. I don't like that for a player of his caliber. You know what I mean? This All Star level player that really can't beat anybody one on one. Right. I, I'm not rocking with that, so I'm cutting him. <laughs> definitely trading <laughs> definitely trading anthony edwards as well i th- agree of the three that are left like, really okay i think that he's kind of like you said he's shown up in some big moments and he's also disappeared because he's yeah. tired and he's young and this is based off of right now in the future maybe i take him over some of these other guys sure but based on Taking him as a player as he is right now, I think I would trade him and get a lot of value back for sure on that trade. And then I'm actually going to flip-flop these. Yeah. I'm going to start Luka. It's fine. I'm going to start Luka. I like how he's bought into the defensive end of the floor, how he's scoring. He likes to take on the challenge. He's an every-night kind of guy. I think yeah. he's just been more consistent than Tatum has been in playoff games throughout yeah. his career, throughout their careers. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take Luka on this one, mm-hmm. and then obviously I'm going to bench Tatum yeah. at, um, at that spot. Yeah, I, I, so we agree that those are the last two standing, and then it's just a matter of, of who's starting, who's on the bench. And, and I, look, I get it. And as I said, I'm not going to argue with you for going Luka over Tatum. I yeah. will just caution you of this, you know, conditioning commitment Mm -hmm. never been a question with jason tatum right you know there has been questions luca showing up to camp not in shape or what's a you know uh, there's been some questions there now obviously we know in between those lines on the floor ante there's no doubt that luca is a straight dog right but again i'm giving tatum the edge here just off of some of the questions you've had with Luca, you've never had with Jason Tatum. Yeah. And I think consistently, Jason Tatum gives you more on the defensive end. There are nights. Now, in this playoff run, I'll give Luca credit. He, mm-hmm. he has definitely played defense. We right. saw him get banged up because of it right. uh, in the last series right. against uh, the Thunder. But, uh, you know, Luca can disappear on the defensive end and has been known to do that. For sure. Jason Tatum. He maybe won't shoot the ball as well. Right. Sometimes he won't be as aggressive. Yeah. Or as as demonstrative 
Ante as we want. Yeah. But he's going to give you effort on the defensive end. That That's just why I went him there. But at least those two we agree on. Yeah, I agree. I think that I like Luca a little bit more because he's got that, oh, 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 oh. you know what I'm saying, type of dog in him that, type of dog you know what i'm saying he's real barking you know what i'm saying he's gonna yell at you he's gonna bark at uh rudy gobert he has that dog in him you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna rock with him because of that i think sometimes tatum you know he just becomes a chihuahua you know what i'm saying he's got the little like you know just a little you know soft bark or something like that so that's why i'm rocking with luca man i don't lie bro your Luca dog may need a may need a rabies shot, dog. Like that, <laughs> that dog was a little. Hey, that dog was a little aggressive. <laughs> hey, Tay, that dog gonna bite the hell out you. Facts. All right, man. Now let's talk about Andrew Nimhart, bro. All right. So Andrew Nimhart has been, you know, having a great game and get. Game three, he had a oh. great game. We obviously know that he yes. had a big turnover in both game one and game three. That He's really kind of, you know, lost. No, I wouldn't say lost the game, but it definitely no. didn't help. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's a young dude. So I just want to know, is he up next? People are kind of comparing him to a young Jalen Brunson, <sighs> yeah. a young Fred Van Vliet. What do you think of that comparison, man? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily see either in him. Certainly not Brunson. I, let's just shut that down now. I mean, Van Vliet, I guess. He's had a different uh, or decent career, made some good money, hit some big shots. Mm-hmm. I, I would maybe look at that comparison a little bit more than mm-hmm. I would Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson is a monster. I, I mean, the dog you just gave Luca wasn't even big enough. That <laughs> raby dog you gave Luca wasn't even big enough for what Jalen Brunson brings to the table. And, and by the way, like, let's acknowledge this. In Dallas, we saw Jalen Brunson take over games yeah. with Luca. Yeah. Take over games, do what he's doing in New York. It's just a now we have him being the man. We have a larger sample size right. in New York, obviously. Mm-hmm. But we saw flashes of that in Dallas. You know, Nemhard, I do like. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't I don't see that. Even though, look, his thirty two against the Celtics in game three was impressive that you brought up, Ante. Mm-hmm. But did you ever at any point I didn't feel any Jalen Brunson. I didn't feel killer. I didn't feel mm-hmm. like he was going to close the game. I'm certainly not blaming him. As you yeah. said, the turnover was costly, but like I'm not going to I'm not going down the road of blaming him yeah. for them losing game 3. I think it was more based on what the Celtics were doing right. than what the Pacers didn't do. Mm-hmm. Um and also at times kind of feels like he defers to Tyrese Halliburton Mm -hmm. or a Pascal Siakam. Right. I didn't see that from Jalen Brunson ever, even with Luka. It never (laughs) felt like he was deferring. It just felt like Luka's Luka. And then when it was time for Jalen Brunson to cook, he cooked, which is why the Knicks were actually smart for once and said, you know what? I believe this guy can be a one. And they were right. Right. I, I, I just think this kid, he's really good. Uh, he'll be one of the great small guards, in the league right now, I think he can develop into that. Yeah. I mean, he's 24 years old, bro. He's super young. Right. Um, you know, yeah, I think I think he's headed in the right direction. I'm not I'm not willing to put him in the in the air of some of those guys you named. I think he can be his own guy. I, yeah. I don't necessarily see uh, any other player in him. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can see that. He can I make think, his own name. Yeah, I think those other two guys are better defensively yeah. um, than he is at this point in his career. I don't, I'm not saying he's a bad defender. I think he's a good defender. I just think those guys were plus defenders for their size right. at that time. Uh, but I will point out, okay, when the Raptors won that championship in 2019, yep. Fred Van Vliet was averaging 11 points per game and five assists. Mm-hmm. When... Jalen Brunson in year two, mm-hmm. which Andrew Nimhart is also in year two right now, he was averaging eight points a game. And as we see on the side, you know, Andrew's been averaging nine through his uh, through the out this season. But in the playoffs, he's at 14 points per game. Right. Five assists per game, only one turnover, and he's got 56% from the field and 48% Numbers from Numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So I think that he is – getting to that place where he can kind of be the next small guard to be an elite guard. And I want to point this out, too. I actually got to play against Brunson when we were in high school. 
We played in the EY, Nike EYBL. Mm-hmm. I got to guard him because that was my job, was to guard, shut down the other team's best player. And I honestly didn't see the dog that's mm. in him now. Mm. Now, that's just to say that Nimhart, you were saying he doesn't have that dog. I think it's one of those things that can be built. I don't think okay. early in his career as a Maverick he really had that, but now – He's kind of ha- showing that in New York, and I think that's a product of being with Luca, a guy yeah. who has that, you know, as we saw before, the rapid ultimate dog. Ra- <laughs> rapid dog in him. Yeah. So I think if Nimhart gets a guy in Indiana to really kind of build him up and get that, you know, that edge, that chip on his shoulder, and obviously we know Rick Brunson puts that chip on Jalen Brunson's shoulder as well, his dad. So if he has a guy that kind of in his corner to be like, hey, you got to be a dog right. in order to, like, get it done and be who you really want to be in this league, he could obviously have the chance to be yeah. like those other two guys we I, mentioned before. 